dear brothers it was always a joy for me to preach on the parable of the prodigal son i don't feel so comfortable preaching about it today you should pray to the lord that i should be more understanding kind merciful i always used to say about this parable these three things did the father of the parable weep surely he wept because from the joy he manifests on the return of the son he was all along weeping till he returned in other words the father grieves then when the son came back the father forgives grieves and then forgives the elder brother did not forgive but the father forgives he not only forgave but also was generous he did not say came back no what to do go and work with your brother in the field he didn't say all that he is generous goes out of the way to provide everything possible he did not wait for the elder son to return to start the celebration he immediately started new shoes new dress fatted calf new clothes and what have you music trumpet jesus told this parable to defend his conduct because he was accused of being too kind with the sinners jesus said you are accusing me i will tell you about my father i will show you the heart of my father you are all like the elder brother i am like the father in the parable elder son did not grieve did not forgive was not generous i grieve i forgive i am generous during the season of lent we are called to imitate father imitate jesus in this parable that's all right that's one side of it that's the primary lesson of the parable this was my usual sharing of reflection on this parable there is also the other side first of all this parable is very beautiful to describe the human experience adolescent rebellion alienation from family sometimes as adults you may be tempted to rebel a little more than the elderly alienation from family appeal of the new and foreign we are so much attracted towards the foreign like the younger brother consequences of foolish living irresponsible living then warmth of the home remembered oh it would have been better if it had been like this all that warmth of the home remembered experience of self encounter then awakening repentance joy of reunion power of forgiveness and then the dynamics of brotherly love one brother is very angry the other brother comes back sometimes we to demand that something is our right this is my right in the process we don't know to value the relationships relationships are much more important than what we consider is our right already children from lkg start saying it is mine give it to me far country can always be appealing home never looks good st peter's sometimes doesn't look very good as when it is remembered from a far country but the thing is we have to come to ourselves may we say today you also me also in our own way lord i want to come to myself the prodigal son came to himself please come to yourself pray to the lord that i may come to myself first step is face yourself before you face the father face yourself before you face the father sometimes what makes us lose the fruit of the love of the father our pride we don't want to admit our mistakes sometimes we don't want to go to the person whom we have wronged why did this uh, prodigal son go back to the father is it really to be reconciled i don't think so to improve his situation isn't it to improve his situation he was hungry but then from the attitude of the father no matter what the son has done he is still the son no one will give him anything to eat but the father gives him everything possible that is the joyful celebration father recognizes already from the far away horizon the son returns 
that is to tell us that everything is sheer grace in the end you return as a sinner i return as sinner to god everybody returns as sinner and go back to god the others who think that they are all upright don't be proud that you are leading a life worthy of god everything is grace justice and merit have value only if god has compassion parable has an open ending we do not know whether the elder brother returned or not he was outside one son returned another son refuses to return so the elder brother also we wish returns and understands the heart of the father but on our part we need to come to ourselves get rid of pride acknowledge our mistakes experience the mercy of the father and that prepares us to be merciful throughout our lives may this eucharistic celebration give us the right attitude orientation that we may always rejoice in the father who is really compassionate and merciful amen